If we have a look at another mass mass problem, so I'm going to say what mass of iron is produced via the thermite reaction when 6.54 grams of aluminum reacts with an excess of iron 3 oxide? Well, there's a lot going on there, not the least of which needs us to write a balanced chemical equation. But what if I looked at this and broke it into smaller chunks? Okay, so I'm going to say how many moles uh, are found in 6.54 grams of aluminum? Well, this is a pretty straightforward conversion. This is grams of aluminum to moles of aluminum. Okay, we've done this before. We did this a little while ago. It should be fairly straightforward, right? 0 0.242 moles of aluminum. What if I then ask the question, how many moles of iron are produced when, I'm going to take this amount of aluminum, 0 0.242 moles of aluminum react completely with sufficient iron, 3 oxide. So this is a mole-mole conversion. This is like the very, uh, the very basic um, conversion that I showed you uh, from the lab yesterday. Okay, it doesn't involve any masses. All I'm going to look at is the balanced chemical equation. So this is the balanced equation for the single replacement reaction described. 0 0.242 moles of aluminum. I'm going to look to convert this to moles of iron. So from the balanced equation, I see there's two moles of iron. There's two moles of aluminum. Okay, so what this turns out is 0 0.242 moles of iron. At this point, now my question could be, what is the mass of 0 0.242 moles of iron? This is now a mole mass conversion. 0 0.242 moles of iron. Convert this to grams of iron by multiplying by the molar mass. 55.85 grams of iron for one mole of iron. All right, so we'll have a look here. 242 times 55.85, so 13.5 grams of iron is what we should collect. Now, I can just as easily do this as essentially one big problem. So rather than dividing it into three chunks, I can say 6.54 grams of aluminum as my starting value. I'm going to need a balanced equation, so we'll just put that in here. Okay. You, we'd like it if you could predict the reaction, but at this point, we're not. We're not going to say it's a requirement. Okay. So I want you to see all I can, all I'm really going to do here is I'm going to borrow these values, all right, because the conversions are all the same. So I'm going to convert grams of aluminum to moles of aluminum. Then I'm going to take the next step. I'm going to convert moles of aluminum into moles of iron using again a mole ratio, the same mole ratio. Then I'm going to convert moles of iron to grams of iron. So you can see that all three of the steps are still in the problem. All right, all the conversions hold up. All the, you can see all the units eliminate like this. So three small manageable problems can be done as one slightly larger problem with the exact same results of so 13.52 grams of iron.